Right, so first part's done. These are the rockets. And this is pretty much in the order that they're going to be going on the, the bigger weapon thing. Um, excuse me. I'm going to put some rust on the brackets that hold them, but um, they're not going to be rusted or anything like that. They're as weathered as I want them to be. So they're done. Dismissed. Put out of the way. The little conning tower thing is done. Yeah, I snipped a little bit of uh, small styrene tube. Cut a slice off to just create a barrel. So he's ready to go. And then, not done, of course, but just to show you where we are on the main body, all in yellow, mottled, watery wash of burnt umber and black, dabbed off, left to dry, naturally in some places, some places I cleared it off. And that dulled it all right, down all right. But now it's looking cartoony again because I've put the lead felt on, so it's far, far too shiny. So next thing on this is uh, <coughs> um, Nuln Oil washes. So more things done. This upper part of the gun arm, I'm just waiting for the glue to set on that join there. And when done, <coughs> put in oh by the way the the, the blue grey rocket I've changed the colour I didn't like the, the gold banding on them so I, that's now just regular metal um, and they're attached the gun arms almost done as you can see here I'm putting decals on this model um, and we've got one here that's the right shoulder pad okay this is done this one is nearly done, just needs some known oil or one, maybe one of the new contrasts on that just to change the colors around a bit. And chimney stack is done. This one's just regular lead belcher and known oil. This is, what did it use on that one? Oh, I think that, I think that's the, the sewer, the new sewer one. No, that's the, oh, what was it called? I've forgotten it. I'll, I'll remember for the next time. Uh, that's washed with a new contrast paint, and that's the sewer one. That's uh, lead be belcher washed with the Gargarac sewer. Is that it? So, yep, there we go. Oh, yeah, all the handles. I don't know if I said before, but all the handles and levers I'm going to have red just as a little contrast. Um, yep, the right arm is done just gotta put a wash over the checkerboard decal just to uh, merge it in um, and then main body busy 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 weathering and again i don't know if i've said before but i'm not doing anything with here because the lower jaw of the forge weld head comes right down to here so there's no point in painting any of that that's going to be covered up um, talking about the Forge World head, um, I've trimmed off all the the sprues and the excess resin and that, and <clears throat> we'll be shortly giving it a bath of soapy water because that's what you do with resin. And I've been test fitting pieces, and there's a small problem in that you see these sections that make up his eye, right? They all fit with the front. That bare bit there fits on that cradle just there. And then the rest of it goes along here. All right. I think that is meant to connect to that somehow, but that's in the wrong place. So I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what that little thing does, because the way that's set up right now, it doesn't go down in that hole there. It goes over here somewhere, but there's nowhere for it to connect to. So... Uh, I've got to uh, work that out. Um, no, the other problem is this this bit here. If I put that in, which is the only way it can go, that is too long. All right, let me illustrate it. That's there. This is the piece. If I line him up, 
like so you don't line up I've got to cut a few mil off of that I think which is odd I mean that's definitely not excess resin as you can see we've got uh, bolts there so that's meant to go there but that doesn't that doesn't fit that doesn't fit in there and line up with that so uh, I'll have a think about all this while I'm giving it a bath nearly done with <clears throat> the uh, the washes and the rusty in if that's a word all the sub assemblies are pretty much done and the head scratching has stopped because I've sorted out what the problem was with the head and the problem with the head is this instruction sheet that image is actually on its side oh I was trying to work out how can that fit properly and where does that little tube go and it doesn't it can't but it can if the photo was that way round this is the top and that's the bottom that's not the left and right sides for some reason oh, stay still for some re sorry for some reason they decided to print this on its side looking at that like that you think that will just go on to there because it's alongside it nope it's the wrong way around that's the top that's the bottom which I worked out luckily without having or having cut anything off so that's how it actually fits in like so you see which makes for an awfully intricate painting challenge and to ease that what I've done is the three parts one two three um, I glued together while they were in place on their two cradles but don't didn't glue them to the cradles and because of that that means I can take it out like so all right and I'll be painting that separately and all of the way in there separately most of this you, you, you haven't got a chance of seeing but look at all that detail I've got to do it justice all right oh that's the other thing I haven't mentioned all the way along when I first started snipping bits off the head and plonked it down on his shoulders it wouldn't fit um, and that's because what it doesn't say in the instruction man, uh, leaflet is you've got to use this part um, off of the original head and glue that on because then you'll sit on there <laughs> 